President Joe Biden's Justice Department is under fire for its alleged attempts to imprison former President Donald Trump, particularly for offenses similar to those Biden himself is accused of committing. Critics argue that Biden's cognitive impairments have shielded him from prosecution, while friendly Democrats in New York City have seemingly done the work for him by convicting Trump. In a Manhattan courtroom, Judge Juan Merchant's handling of the case has been controversial. Allegations of judicial bias, allowing prejudicial testimony, and unclear felony charges have marred the trial. This led to a conviction on all 34 counts of falsifying business records related to hush money payments intended to influence the 2016 election. Reader Fred Laser expressed his outrage, drawing parallels to third-world judicial practices, and even CNN's former prosecutor Ellie Honig criticized the judge's political donations and the DA's charges as pushing the boundaries of law and due process. Honig highlighted the unprecedented nature of charging federal election laws as state crimes, pointing out that no state prosecutor has ever done this before. The prosecution strategy has raised concerns about future political prosecutions and the erosion of judicial credibility. Jason Willick of The Washington Post noted that Steinglass's closing argument suggested Trump manipulated voters by suppressing damaging information, a claim that could undermine trust in election outcomes. Calls for intervention by figures like New York Governor Kathy Hochul to pardon Trump emphasize the divisive impact of this trial on American democracy and the justice system.